Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to obtain the p value of Fisher Cynical Distribution, or more commonly known as the f distribution function. We should bear in mind that the less than cumulative distribution function is known as the regularized incomplete beta function. We have numerator and denominator. For the numerator, is the integer here. Before we are able to obtain this value, we should first determine the value of k, which is this term, where x is the critical value, d1 is the first degree of freedom, while d2 is the second degree of freedom. Substitute into the formula and we should obtain this value. Let's try. Press fraction 9.074 times 7 down and input again 9.074 times 7 and we plus the second degree of freedom or follow the formula press equal and we should obtain the value instead of entering the numbers one by one when we substitute into the integer we can actually store the value to store press store and press the button negative so that we store to a and now let's substitute into the integer so we have integrate the function alphabet x power a minus 1 a is d1 divided by 2, which is the first degree of freedom divided by 2, and we obtain 3.5. We can take 3.5 minus 1 equal to 2.5, or we can input directly 3.5 minus 1. And now write bracket 1 minus alphabet x, close bracket and power, followed by b minus 1. B is D2 divided by 2, which is 4 divided by 2, and we obtain 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Or we can input directly as well, 2 minus 1. Right and right. The lower limit according to the formula is 0. So we put 0. Right again, the upper limit. Since we have stored this value in A. If I say we worry that we will forget later, we can first labor so that we know this value is stored in A. Press alphabet. A to get the value and now press equal we should obtain the correct value so we have obtained the value for the numerator and we are going to use this value again later so it's better to store the value we can store in b and now label this value as b now let's move on to the denominator so for the denominator we have one two three terms to be counted we should bear in mind that if the value here is integer we should use this formula Otherwise, we use this formula. Firstly, determine the gamma value of A, which is the first degree of freedom divided by 2. Since this value is not integer, which is 3.5, we should use the second formula. So remove 0.5 so that we have N and substitute into the formula. Remove 0.5 means that we have 3 left. So we substitute 3 into this formula. Firstly, press fraction and now bracket. 2 times 3, close bracket, and we need the factorial to get factorial shift inverse. And now press down, go to the denominator, follow exactly the same. So we have 4 to the power of n, which is 3. Always remove 0.5, and now write with times 3 factorial. Write again with times square root of shift times 10 to get pi. Press equal and we should obtain the correct value. We could also store this value and this time we store in C. Label this as C and now we proceed to this term gamma B. B is equal to 2. Since this is integer, we should use this formula. So we have 2 minus 1 factorial which is 1 factorial. 1 factorial is equal to 1. So basically this term we don't have to make use of calculator and we know that it's equal to 1. Now proceed to the denominator. We need a plus b. a is equal to 3.5 plus b is equal to 2. Press equal, we should obtain 5.5. Again, it's not an integer, so we remove 0.5 and we substitute using this formula. So we have n equal to 5 for this case. Let's press fraction bracket 2 times 5, close bracket, shift inverse to get factorial, down to denominator, 4 to the power of 5, right? times 5 factorial right times square root of pi press equal and we should obtain the correct value this value i'm going to store in d let's say so we store in d since we have complete information for this term which means that we can now determine the value of the denominator so we should have alphabet c divided by alphabet d press equal we should obtain the value for the denominator so we call the value of 
B and divide it by the answer that we obtained just now. Press equal is the cumulative density routed to the nearest four decimal places. Since this cumulative value is from the left, if you want the value from the right, which is the p-value, we should take 1 minus. Since total probability is equal to 1, so 1 minus the one that we don't want, we should get the one that we want. Now let's try for the second example. Using the similar idea, firstly obtain the k-value. So we need fraction and we have the critical value for this time is 4.532. And we times the first degree of freedom, which is 15. And now press down. 4.532 times 15 and we plus second degree of freedom which is 6. Press equal and we should obtain the value. Also, we can now store in A. So we label the value K as A and now substitute into the integer. So we have to integrate alphabet x power a minus 1 where a is d1 divided by 2 so we have 15 divided by 2 which is 7.5 or we can input directly 15 divided by 2 and we should minus 1 and now write bracket 1 minus alphabet x close bracket and power b minus 1 where b is d2 divided by 2 which is 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 and we have minus 1 right and right again lower limit is 0 upper limit is the a value so we call a press equal and we should obtain the correct value we can now store in b label the numerator as b and now we proceed to the denominator using the similar idea firstly obtain the gamma value of a since 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 it's not an integer so we should use this formula remove 0.5 and get 7 so we have fraction bracket 2 times 7 close bracket shift inverse to get factorial down 4 to the power of 7 and we times 7 factorial right times square root of pi equal and we should obtain the correct value store in c so we label this as c now we proceed to the second term of the numerator so we have gamma b b is 6 divided by 2 which is 3 since we have integer so we use this formula 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so which means that we have 2 factorial equal to 2 or we can use calculator to double confirm so we have 2 here if you want to store also can we store in d now label as d let's move on to the denominator part so we have 15 over 2 which is 7.5 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 3 and we should obtain 10.5 remove 0.5 and we have 10 so by using the similar idea fraction bracket 2 times 10 close bracket shift inverse to get factorial down 4 to the power of 10 and now we times 10 factorial shift inverse right times square root of pi press equal and we should obtain the correct value store in e so we label as e now let's evaluate this term so we have alphabet c times alphabet d divided by alphabet e press equal and we should obtain the value so we should have b divided by this value so alphabet b divided by answer press equal and we should obtain the cumulative value as we can see here again one minus the value to obtain the p value and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you